Hello everyone and welcome to my beautiful Halloween. So what's Halloween without a Disney villain? This is my rendition of the evil dark fairy Maleficent. This look is a mashup of classic Maleficent with a touch of her modern look. I'm giving you some greens, purples, and of course the classic red lips. Now let's get into this Maleficent transformation. Well, well. <laughs> Using a hydrating lip balm, I'm going to moisturize my lips. I'm going to prime my skin using a moisturizing primer, just working that in with a flat foundation brush. Then adding a dewy mist on top. I'm going to be mixing a pale shade of foundation and foundation lightener to create a pale complexion similar to Angelina Jolie in the Maleficent movie. Just add one drop of foundation and one drop of lightener and you'll get that perfect pale complexion. With a very light concealer, I'm going to highlight under my eyes and I'm going to add some to my neck too to pale out my skin further. Lock all of that in with translucent setting powder. Using a dark brown pomade, I'm going to create a super arched brow shape. I'm applying above my natural brow line and creating sharp points at the arch of the brow. Clean up with concealer to make the brows super sharp and defined. I also went in with the brow pencil to further sharpen up those brows because the brows are an extremely important part of this look. They need to look fierce. Next, prime your eyes for eyeshadow. I'm starting with the white face powder and I'm applying that onto the brow bone area. Picking up a matte dark purple eyeshadow, I'm going to create a cat eye in the outer corner connecting to the lower lash line. With the metallic purple eyeshadow, I'm going to place that over the matte dark purple and blend into the lid. Picking up a matte pink eyeshadow, I'm going to blend the edges of the purple shadows connecting into the lower lash line. And this just enhances all of those purple colors. I'm now going to blend the metallic purple into the inner crease and brow area of the eye. With the black eyeshadow, I'm going to deepen the entire eye look for a harsh effect. Apply a smudgy black eyeliner to the waterline, then smoke that out using a black eyeshadow. With a full coverage eye base, I'm going to cut the crease of the eye. Then I'm going to apply a metallic green eyeshadow over the entire lid. With a black shadow, I'm going to define the deepest part of the crease using a small flat brush. Highlight the inner corners with a golden eyeshadow. Now apply black mascara. I'm using a black gel liner to further darken the waterline. I'm now going to use a black liquid liner to wing out both of my eyes. Apply thick dramatic false lashes. Using a cool tone contour shade, I'm going to map out the cheekbones. The key is using a contour brush to create sharp, pointy cheekbones. They were using prosthetics in the movie to get those sharp, pointy cheeks, but you can achieve a similar look using contouring powders. And the good thing about using a contouring powder is it's a whole lot easier and more comfortable than using prosthetics. For a protruding effect, add matte white face powder to the points of the cheeks and apply it over the dark contoured edges to soften. I'm applying a touch of highlighter to the face to add a luminous glow. To amp up the eyes, add glitter primer, then heavily pack on green glitter for a glitter cut crease. To deepen it up, I'll also add some black shadow into the crease, and I'm also going to add some into the eye look as a whole for a more smoky effect. Line your lips with a brick red lip liner. Now pop on a matte red lipstick. In the movie, I noticed her lips had a dewy shine, so I'm adding a metallic red gloss over top. Clean up with concealer if needed to sharpen up the lip line. 
I'm now going to spritz on some dewy mist and iridescent glitter onto the cheekbones and highlight areas of the face. Lock it all in with a long wear setting spray. Spritz on some dewy mist and add iridescent glitter to the center of the chest. Now pop on your horns and add the finishing touches. I popped in some green contacts and a Maleficent costume in cape. The feather neck piece is not a part of the costume, but one I currently own that looks great with this look. For the choker, I made it out of thick black ribbon. I hope you enjoyed this look, and if you did, be sure you like this video and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you all for tuning in to my beautiful Halloween, and I'll see you next time.